Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do be doing a somewhat love it or hate it mod. I really like it, or I think it's going to turn out good. Some of you might not like it, but I don't know. I I really I think it's going to turn out good. So anyways, let's just get straight to the to it, right? Got this in the mail recently. Take it apart. And I get one of these. You would probably say, or wonder, Alex, why the f are you doing such a thing? You know. Um, ever since the new Teslas came out with that yoke steering wheel, I really loved the look of it. So for some reason, it just stuck stuck with me. So I saw someone was offering custom steering wheels. And I said, hey man, make me one. Here's what I want. And he's like, sure, why not? So we got this. So today, we're going to get this puppy installed in the car. So first things, let's get the old steering wheel out of the car. All right, so the very first thing we got to do is take out the airbag. So to do that, very simple as last time, a little tool, stick it in the sides and the airbag kicks out. So let's do that. All right. Next thing is gently disconnect the airbag. And then the horn. Since this airbag has the horn in it, or the horn switch. Now that we got that off, we now need to disconnect all this beautiful stuff. Okay. Got all the connectors out. There's one more on the bottom. And we are good to go. Now I need to get a uh, tool to unhook the steering wheel. So, bear right back. All right, we got this off. Let's get it out in the garage and start uh, taking this apart. So there you have it. Let's get this puppy installed in the car and see how it looks. We're back in the car. So I gotta get this guy put back in. So it's all just a reverse procedure. Make sure that you don't twist your clock spring. Put your steering wheel on and then bolt everything back up.
Bam! <laughs> this is definitely an interesting experience. So let me show you what it looks like and then, uh, yeah. There you have it. Uh, steering wheel is fully done. It's definitely an interesting uh, look for the car, but it opens up a lot of the visibility and whatnot. And so, does look quite cool. So I know this was a really cool, quick, quick mod. Uh, I know some of you guys might give it a thumbs down. I know some might like it. I think it's pretty freaking cool. Uh, not too many Mustangs around with a cut steering wheel like that, especially a 17 swap or S550 swap, or whatever you want to call it. So, uh, thumbs up, thumbs down if you like it or don't like it. Subscribe if you like what I do. And I will see you on the next video when we're probably going to do some other stuff to the car. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next one. It's closer.